Hello, my name is Erwin Rothenberg, and today we'll be discussing oversight of point-of-care testing. Point-of-care testing is defined as testing performed at or near the site where the patient is located. Thus, it includes testing performed at many non-laboratory sites, such as urgent care centers, outpatient clinics, retail clinics, emergency rooms, nursing homes, the patient's bedside, and in patients' homes. Most point-of-care testing is waived and may be performed by nurses, medical assistants, EMTs, paramedics, pharmacists, or any combination of trained healthcare workers, as well as by laboratory professionals. An ongoing concern is how to ensure that point-of-care testing is of the same quality as that performed in-house. To achieve this, the laboratory must be proactive in monitoring this testing. This means that all personnel performing point-of-care testing must be properly trained and have their periodic assessments of their competency, even if all of the testing they do is waived. All instruments involved should be operated and maintained in accordance with manufacturer's requirements with quality control, calibration, and maintenance monitored, test results verified as to accuracy, and if the patient had been previously tested, consistent with the patient's history. It is also important to monitor reagent storage and handling as well. Utilization of split sampling and proficiency testing is recommended for monitoring quality. Many laboratories, mindful that point-of-care testing may be performed by non-laboratory staff, often have a staff tech responsible for monitoring this testing, acting as both a liaison to the laboratory as well as a technical resource for the point-of-care testing staff. This is an important responsibility as feedback from the field to the laboratory is needed to identify potential communication problems, complaints, and the needs of both patients and staff. The bottom line is that there should be no difference in the quality of patient care provided by the laboratory, whether performed within the confines of the laboratory or anywhere else. Ultimate responsibility lies with the laboratory administration and staff. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for our newest content. Go ahead and click on the description box below for related educational products or click on the little icon on the top right corner to view the products. Thank you very much.